Monday's workout is over now. After you build to a heavy squat snatch single, you'll lower the weights because we have a fast tempo workout today. It is four time with a 10 minute cap. Start with 20 power snatches. We'll take a wide grip on the bar. The barbell touches the ground on every rep. Raise the bar to the hips, jump, pull under, catch the bar with locked out arms and stand. Then you'll move into 20 lateral barbell burpees. There's no requirement to open the hips as you pass over the bar. For RX, we're looking for a two footed jump up and over the bar. Then you'll go into 20 overhead squats. Power snatch or squat snatch the first rep. Once you get it locked out overhead, we do not have to lower the bar. We're going to pass through a full squat. Heel stay on the ground. Knees drive out as the hips push back. We're trying to keep the upper body locked out with the bar overhead. Follow with another 20 lateral barbell burpees. And then we'll finish with the highest skill movement, 20 squat snatches to finish the workout. Our goal is to open the hips as we pull and then quickly drop under the bar. So we're moving the bar the least amount of range of motion until we get it locked out overhead. The weight for the squat snatch will likely be the limitation for most people on this workout. So find the weight where you can perform squat snatches in multiples the whole workout. If anyone has any mobility issues with the squat snatch, then substitute another round of power snatches instead of the last set of squat snatches. The home gym variation of over and out will be 20, 18, 16, 14, 12, 10, decreasing reps of alternating dumbbell power snatches. Both heads of the dumbbell touch the floor between the legs. Keep your head and chest up as you perform these reps. You can switch hands in the air or on the ground. After you finish your set of dumbbell power snatches, you'll perform 10 lateral burpees over the dumbbell. The burpee reps stay the same every round. Chest and thighs touch the floor. There's no requirement to stand tall at the top of the rep. Jump laterally over your dumbbell with the feet passing over the dumbbell. Monday's accessory body armor will be three rounds. We'll start with nine tempo single arm dumbbell bent over row. The tempo we're taking is a three second descent and fast on the way up. You wanna keep the lower back braced. The upper body should be almost horizontal, maybe just a few degrees above that. You can brace using a bench or box, or if you don't have anything to brace against, do these freestanding. Uh, you might have to lower the weight and use that lower back a little bit more, but maintain that tempo. After your nine tempo bent over row on one arm, you'll grab a high resistance band and we'll perform 21 banded good mornings. You're gonna step on the band with the feet about hip width apart. You'll bring the band behind the neck, hold on to the band to lessen the resistance on the neck. And then we're going to perform 21 good mornings. For the good morning, we're gonna keep the heels planted on the ground. We're gonna keep the lower back flexed and tight. As you go down, the hips push back and the knees bend just a little bit. We don't need to do them straight-legged or stiff-legged, but we don't wanna perform a squatting motion either. After your 21 banded good mornings, you'll perform nine tempo bent over row on the other arm, and then finish with 21 banded pull-aparts with a light resistance band. Keep the elbows locked out, pull until the band touches the chest, and then resist on the way back in. Monday's recommended mobility will start with a one minute wall squat with a PVC. We're gonna take that snatch grip on the PVC pipe. We're gonna start with it in the back rack and then lift it up so it's directly over that back rack position. Now our goal is to perform slow squats with our feet a few inches from the wall. So our goal here is to keep the heels down, push the knees out and keep the chest as vertical as possible as we lower down. The farther you move your feet from the wall, the easier these reps become. The closer your feet are to the wall, the more challenging it's going to be. So one minute, slow and controlled. Then, 
set the barbell on your back with that snatch grip. You're gonna sit at the bottom of a squat stance. We're gonna perform one minute of SOTS presses. So you try to keep the heels down on the ground in a full squat. You're going to keep the elbows underneath the bar as you press directly up into that barbell. If you have range of motion limitations, you can stack some plates under the heels so you're able to stay flat-footed on these reps.